Thank you for listening to the Real Estate Real Podcast. Here is your host, Adam Ashba. Hi, this is Adam Ashba with Real Estate Real Podcast, and we have a special guest today, Eric Warren of America Floor Source. And Eric, I have a question. We get some of this this question all the time, and I know on the at the brokerage uh, about what type of floor to choose. For a house not only for daily use and function but also for resale so help out our listeners for that that commonly used question I guess commonly asked question about what type of flooring should they get um, that would help them in their everyday life as well as maybe resale down the road certainly yeah so there's there's a number of things that that are involved with picking flooring and, and it's extremely stressful for homeowners. So when, when they get to us, the, the first thing that we're, we're doing, we're the experts. We know all of the materials. Okay. And what we're looking to do is, is get them selected with the right floor for the right price for the right space and the right time. And, and so what we do is we gather some information about them, the okay. way that they live, the way that they like their lifestyle they're absolutely so okay. we want to get to know them a little bit we want to Makes know sense. do they have dogs do they have cats are they uh, the the type of homeowner that they have two kids but really it's like 20 kids because everybody in the neighborhood is coming over there um like my house or right? do they <laughs> do they uh we often want to know do they wear high heels so what okay. we're looking for i call it Kids, water, dogs, and high heels. That's those are the the you you want to figure out. Do they have them? Are they you know, if if you don't wear mm-hmm. high heels, you don't need to worry about high heels damaging the floor. But okay. high heels, even though it, it, the point of the heel on the back, there's a lot of psi, which is pounds per square inch. Right. So yeah, and that can small. damage flooring. Damage hardwood. Okay. And so if, if somebody, and I had a, a, a lady years ago, she was asking for, she was thinking about hardwood, and I asked her if she wore high heels, and she says, yeah. She says, I wear them in the house. She says, I wear them every day. I said, well, you might want to consider laminate because laminate is really dense. It's the, it's the, the hardest product outside of porcelain tile, and it's going to withstand the pressure. And that's exactly what she did. We, we put a, a laminate floor in her house, and it's gorgeous, and she gets to wear her high heels every day. Okay. And she never damaged her floor. So dogs. Dogs scratch wood. Everybody loves wood, but right. nobody likes wood that's all scratched up. Right. So if somebody right. comes in and says, I want to get a hardwood floor, and, and I raise Great Danes. Mm. Well, I want a hardwood floor too, but do you want it that you're going to have to refinish it every eight to ten years, or right. do you want it that looks like wood? And so we we're gathering those facts, we're gathering that information. Are they, you know, a retired couple and and just have periodic visitors over the year, and and um, or you know, are they do they have five cats and the cats are, are constantly making a mess in the house and, and damaging yeah. the yarn or the fiber or something like that. So so we try to figure out what what is gonna be the best product for them. And then we'll present them options. Because no floor is the end all be all. There's so there's, there's no positives floor and negatives. One si- or there one isn't. There, okay. there, I, I often, I, I don't know why, I guess I was a Superman fan growing up, but I always say, you know, all flooring has its kryptonite. Right. So hardwood, scratching by dogs or destroyed by water vinyl cuts tile cracks and so they it, it laminate it not so much now but water would destroy it and and so we we show all of the different options and then the homeowner can weigh well which is more important to me having something that's very scratch resistant that my dogs aren't going to scratch up or having something that's water resistant well, if, it's, if the water resistant is what's more important, they go with something that's going to be more waterproof and maybe not as scratch resistant. Or try to find that combination of scratch resistance and water water friendly. So that that's um, how we do it now. When they're looking for resale, there's, there's two things that um, hardwood is going to increase the value of your house. There is no doubt about it. Hardwood. So okay. Hardwood will. Okay. But if Which you haven't put that hardwood right. in, 
it's gorgeous. sometimes it can be a little bit cost prohibitive. So right. the that is is a consideration for the homeowner that they need to take into account, and sometimes they need to err on the side of well maybe just putting in something that's going to look nice. And so if if they're buying now, I always I ask every single person how long you plan on staying in your house, and somebody says three to five years. Well, three to five years, we want to be start think we want to think about resale. We want to be safe. Right. We want to yep. be we don't want to be jumping out on limbs. We don't want to be trying new colors. We don't want to be going pink or going going mm-hmm. dark brown and and so you try to stay as neutral as you can so that the future homeowner has a palette to work with so yeah so don't yeah. make it too personal right? exactly Absolutely. and so yeah. they say well I'm gonna be here 10 years well 10 years a lot of flooring that's 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 the life of a lot of flooring a lot of flooring is 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 you know, maybe it's not even in style 15 years from now. So 10 right. years, you can, you've got a lot of personal preference. I always talk about personal preference versus being safe. And, and sure. when you're, when you're picking flooring that you're planning on selling the house, it's not about what you like. It's about what the homeowner's not going to dislike. And so you don't want them walking in and seeing it and walking out. Mm-hmm. You want them walking in and just checking it off saying, this is good enough. And now I'm thinking about the roof or now I'm, and so we, we try to position them so that they're set up for success. And so one of the things that I do with carpet is I figure out how long are they going to be there. And then I base their carpet, their yarn on, I call it market ready now, market ready later. It's my kind of my theory. Okay, and, and so the, either they're going to uh, sell their house so, in the next 12 months or they're going to sell their house in the next... 12 years. Or, right. And right. So, okay. so the, the perfect example of that was the the, um, the Buckeye coach, Grinch, that came with us, that joined Urban's team last year. Not the year we just had, but two years ago. So we're fortunate enough to, to help them as they were moving in. But as coaches, you're, you're basically, in the way it was with Urban, you gave him two years. And so he had, you basically had to promise him two years, and then yeah. you, would, you would end it, and you see it every year. Now they're head coach somewhere else. Now they're and so Carousel. so we had to be market ready now, market ready later. And so we had to pick something that was beautiful now. We had to pick something that had the the, the tones that were that were that they liked because that's where they live. Mm-hmm. But that a future homeowner would be able to decorate. So it had to be safe. And, and the yarn had right. to hold up. So it had to hold up great now, and it had to be ready in five years, and then. As luck would have it, right. you know, all kinds of things happened, and he ended up going to coach Oklahoma, and they had to sell that house in a year. And oh, he moved so in two were, years. Okay, it, it was a year because we lost Urban. Oh, he, okay. It was a okay. big shakeup, but they were perfectly ready. But and the their floor house was great. Was, right? The floor was ready, okay. and so we were market ready then. And had they been here, had he been here eight years, ten years, it was going to be market ready then because we put a good strong fiber that was really, really hard to stain. Okay. And that's what people love with their carpet. They, they, they don't want their carpet to stain and they don't want it to show wear. Okay. So really the top four things from what I'm hearing here is that you want to think about before you have a professional like Eric uh, come in and, and take a look and show you the different options is water, mm-hmm. uh, pets, mm-hmm. well, cats or dogs. If you're wearing high heels mm-hmm. or not, what was the last one? Kids. Kids. Oh, I forgot about that. Nothing will destroy your yeah. floor. Like- <laughs> Ten kids. And yeah, so. ten kids. You mean one kid? <laughs> <laughs> so, well, thanks, Eric. And again, this is Adam Ashville with the Real Estate Real Podcast. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of Real Estate Real. Check us out on all the major podcast platforms: Stitcher, Spotify, Apple Podcast. Like us on our fan page on Facebook at Real Estate Real and let everyone know that this is the best podcast in America.